In Creo Parametric 12, there are a few new tools for creating geometry in a sketch. Let's take a look at them. First off, here I am in a sketch. If I go to the line drop-down menu, there is this new kind of line called a line midpoint. And like the name implies, you will start out by locating the midpoint of the line. And when you drag your mouse out, you will end up getting a line that is symmetric about that midpoint. Let me left click in order to create this one. And we can also create one. Let me locate it on the midpoint of this line and then go out to this line over here. And that way I won't have any dimensions for this particular entity. And we can also locate it here, go out horizontal, a distance, and then middle mouse button. And so here I have a whole bunch of different dimensions on my computer screen. I'm gonna turn off their display for a moment just to unclutter the screen because there is one thing that I want to show you about these new lines. Let's say I decide to delete this line. I will click on it with my left mouse button. Then I will use the delete key on the keyboard. You will notice that you still have a point created here where the midpoint of that line was. Anyhow, let me go back to my dimension display, but you'll also see that we have some weak dimensions going to the location of that construction point. But anyhow, let me complete out of this sketch and I'm going to hide it for creating my next uh, few entities. Let me create a new sketch. I will click on the use previous button to get back into sketch mode very quickly. And the next new tools are located in the palette. So I will click on the palette command and you'll notice that the palette opens up to a taller or longer length than it did before in order to accommodate you seeing more of the different shapes that are available. But anyhow, let me go to the Shapes tab. And on the Shapes tab, there are three new different kinds of racetracks. Before, you had the standard center-to-center -center racetrack. Now there's a total length racetrack, an arc-to-arc -arc one, arc with arches, and actually arc with arches, I think, is what you had before. And now we have arched with center lines. So let's take a look at these. First off, the one that you are used to, center to center. This is the one that you had, and I it created a center line in the middle. Let me double click and then drop it on the computer screen and then drag it out so you can see it. I will hit the check mark. And so this generates your racetrack, and here we have a construction line in the middle. Let me hit the undo button to get rid of that one. Let's go to total length. I will double click on that one drop it on the screen, drag it out, and then hit the check mark. This one has a dimension that goes to the outside of the arcs instead of between the centers of the arcs. And let me hit the undo button to get rid of that one, I'm trying to keep my screen clutter to a minimum. Let's go to the arc to arc one. I will double click, drop it on the computer screen. Ah, let me lock it into the center just reduce the number of dimensions and drag it out and hit the check mark. And so this one, we have it arc to arc, but we're not getting the construction line in the middle. I might be obscuring that fact by having it located on the middle. Let me drop in another one for you and then just hit the check mark for that one. So this one has no construction center line located in the middle. Let me undo a couple of of those in order to reduce screen clutter. Let's go to arched with axes. And so let's double click, let's drop it on the computer screen, let's drag it out and hit the check mark. And so we get our angled racetrack here. And this one has a construction line between the two different arcs. And so let me hit the undo button. Now let's take a look at arched with center lines. So I'll double click on this one. Let's drop it on the screen. And this one I'm actually gonna snap in over here just to reduce a little bit of clutter. Let's go drag this one out and hit the check mark. And so with this one, we get our arched racetrack. We have our construction center line, but as you can see, 
we also get these angled center lines that go from the centers of the arcs to their intersection. And let's close out of there and then repaint the computer screen. And so there you have it. Those are a bunch of your new sketch tools in Creo Parametric 12.